Hello beautiful crafty people, Michelle here and welcome to my makery. Today I've got some things to show you. I haven't finished anything that I've been working on. I have put my bunny together and I've made some purchases. So um, I'll show you those. They were kind of a Mother's Day purchase. Anywho, I have got my buddy bunny together. So this is pretty much the size of the buddy bunny, really, I think, what it's supposed to be. And this is what it looks like when you make it out of a bigger yarn. Cool, eh? I really, really like it. Anyway, this, um, I talked all about the specs and everything for this last week. I just haven't made this little scarf yet. And I did something different with this face, but he looks all right. Anyhow, and then I've been working a tiny bit on my Tour de Fant. I haven't done a lot. Um, I sewed, I had some sew on googly eyes. I didn't have big enough. I didn't have big enough safety eyes. So, um, so that's how he's looking. I've embroidered his little mouth. But I've started his toot. But, so that's how he's looking so far. I do like the way, oh it's blowing out, sorry. I do like the way the patterning in the yarn is working. That's quite nice. All the info on pattern and um, yarn etc is in my previous video. For that, now, purchases. First off, I had a gift card, like a Prezi card, which is like a um, a Visa card you can use anywhere sort of thing. And um, I went on Amazon, and when I was on there, it seemed to be a day they were having a sale or some sort, because a lot of the books I wanted were way... Sorry. Mm. Sorry. Way cheaper than normal. So the first one I got was this one, Unicorn and the Dragons 2. Everybody's probably seen this one, um, I'd say so. I'm not sure which one I want to try and make first. Probably either the one of the dragons. Yep, because it's gorgeous. Well, there's the, the other version of the dragon. So probably one of those... Or Nesta, the Loch Ness monster. Oh, don't look at the pattern. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the next book I got is this one. You've probably all seen this one as well. Um, Crochet You by Natalie and Miel. It's, um, I just like that it has all different sorts of dolls and gives you the, you know, the, the way to make different clothes and different hair and then different skin and faces like there's um, how to do amputated limbs, um, vitiligo, um, like port wine stains. And Down Syndrome, which I think is cool. And then, um, yeah, and also how to do things like, um, what am I trying to think of? Assistance dogs, wheelchair, feeding tubes, that sort of thing. So I think that's really good. I haven't made a doll yet, but I'm going to give this one of these a go soon. And then I bought Harry Lords. Sorry, I'm having issues today. Harry Lords Edwards Menagerie Dogs. This is the one with the 65 patterns. And I got this for a really, really good price. Probably at least 50% less than I normally see it. So. I'm going to be making some dogs at some stage. My list of things I'm going to make is getting bigger and bigger. 
then I got this for an extremely good price. Harry Potter's Crochet Wizardry. Um, I think a lot of these, oh look there's Dobby, it looks a bit odd, but I don't think I could make many of these, I think they're quite far above my, um, my skill rate, but I am thinking I could probably make this one, which is the Patronus. It's like a ragdoll cushion sort of thing. And I have a little girl in my life who loves Patronuses, loves Harry Potter, and I think she would love that. I've just got to make it. I've got so many things to make. That's why I never make any promises. Oh yeah, I'll make that. Yeah, no worries. Because it often doesn't happen. Um, little Friends in the Hatching Bag is my next one. Now, I saw this one on whose channel did I see this one? It's Tatiana Kucherovska. I think I saw this on Julie, Case Mom Crochets. And they are absolutely gorgeous little patterns. I want to make that Triceratops. And the little kitten. Oh, and the elephant. Oh my goodness, she's delightful. Oh my goodness, look at it. I love elephants. And isn't she just beautiful? Um, but the one I really... Uh, where is she gone? Where is she gone? Hang on, sorry. Ah, oh, there she is. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Little kitten. She's got some wings. So she's got her fairy costume on. You could always make her a little tutu as well, and that would look gorgeous. I don't know if I'll make the little bags for them, but um, the little animals are gorgeous. So there's a couple in there I want to make. So those are the books I got. So five books I managed to get with my gift card, and I think I still have a little bit of money on it. And then this book I purchased second hand off Trade Me. And this is 99 Little Doilies. It's an older book. It's by Patricia Christofferson. Let's see if I can find a publishing date. Oh, it's 2001, so it looks older than it is. I've been saying that. Like, it may seem like just yesterday to me, but 2001 was actually 22 years ago. Oh my goodness. And now I feel old. But there's some really gorgeous doilies in there. And amazingly, the doily, the one doily I had at my craft sale was the first thing that sold. So I thought I might make some more doilies. Now, on to Spotlight. Spotlight had sent out a 40% no, $40 off a hundred voucher. Um, so I thought, mm hmm, that's a good deal. That's 40% if you spend a hundred dollars. And um, they also had a good sale. So now I know I wasn't going to buy yarn, so I really don't need any. But it was on sale, so I bought the value ball. Unity, no, valuable blankie glitter because I don't have the purple. So I got that. And then they had new yarn. So blame it on the new yarn. It's not my fault. I couldn't help it. It's my excuse. Anyway, this is called Valuable Majesta Yarn. It's 150 grams. And that is deliciously soft. That is so soft. And that's kind of the correct looking colours there. Aren't they beautiful? Now this is 55% nylon and 45% acrylic. That's why it feels so soft. It is um, 330 metres per ball. They recommend a 4.5 to a 5mm knitting needle. 
it doesn't have a weight on it like um a yarn size what do you reckon that would be a three a dk what do you reckon i think so a, th a light dk like um a mandala hang on got a mandala right here oh, it's got no pokey outy bits yeah, they look about the same. So, and this, does it have a colour name? It says, cool hand wash, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, dry flat in the shade. Oh my goodness. Really? That's a bit complicated. And it's just colour number two. So, I might do a test and put, put it in the washer. And see how it washes up. Um, so I got four of those because I have a baby blanket to make. A friend of mine's new great grandbaby is going to be a boy. So I'm thinking, I'm not sure if I'm going to do block stitch or corner to corner. What do you reckon? Block stitch, corner to corner. And then while I was in there, they also had the Glitz Cakes Value Ball, which is 150 grams, 315 meters. And look how pretty that is. That's not looking the greatest. Hang on. Can you see? Isn't that pretty? Look at those colors. Gorgeous. Anyway, I've got two of those. I don't know what I'm going to make. 315 meters. Only gives me 630. I was hoping for a, um, a shawl, but maybe a hat and scarf. Maybe. That's all the yarn I bought. I was very restrained because it was an excellent sale. But I was like, I really, really, really don't need it. But this new yarn I wanted to try so I could tell you all what it was like. And it is beautifully soft. And um, I needed purple glitter. Who doesn't need purple glitter yarn in their life? Like seriously. And then um, I wanted to try this as well. I haven't worked with this. I can't feel the glitter in it. So I'm hoping that's going to work out really well. It doesn't feel rough or anything. And the yarn itself feels quite soft. So, yeah. And then I bought some pom poms because they were on special. So I got this one. Isn't that pretty? And they were twenty five percent off. I think yeah. And then I had the coupon to get so just a white one. Ooh, blowing out! Just a white one. Sorry about that. And a black one. This black one doesn't seem to fluff up. My son and I have both tried. And we've decided it's a punk rock pom pom. Um, yes. The brown one, it's lost its label thing. No. Might have to get the hair dryer out. Um, I thought I had more than that. Oh, yep. Here's some more down the bottom of the bag. This one is really cool. I think I know just what yarn I'm going to use with this one. Kind of colour changes are almost like blues and purples and teal around that way. Very nice. And this one has to be I think, my favourite. Give it a shake. Look at this one. Oh, but it's got a little bit of all sorts in there. So that's pretty cool. And then I've got a grey one. This is a punk rock looking one as well. It's all spiky and doesn't seem to want to go pretty. I think there's one more, there's one more. No, must have been the last one. 
painting. That's what you know what I haven't bought myself for a while? Any paper crafting stuff. So I went and had a look and Maggie Holmes was on special. So I got myself sorry it doesn't look great because I've been in there. It's the Woodland Grove card kit. It has 20, 20 card bases and all these pretty little doohickeys in there. So I got that and I thought wow I'm going to have a look at some more things. So let me show you. Oh dear I'm going to cause an avalanche. Sorry, did you get a hideous close-up of my face again? Sorry. Um, I got these stamps, so the Woodland Grove ones. Cool. Now these I saw Soleil from Soleil Craft. She did um she bought her stuff some Mother's Day stuff and so I jumped straight on after seeing her. I got this. This is a stamp and die set. And this was a really good price. So I can't wait to play with those. And then I just got some alphas. Just some black swirly alphas. I wanted gold but they sold out by the time I pressed order. I got the Woodland Grove um, what are they? journaling ephemera. I got the Woodland Grove stickers. Oh, I'm sorry for the glare. Very pretty. Maggie Holmes is very pretty. Butterflies, zebras, and peacocks and leopards on this one. Then I got the sticker book. Maggie Holmes sticker book. That's all the stickers. Whoa, sorry, shadows and stuff. That's all the stickers there. And then I got, oh, there was my invoice. The um, chipboard stickers. Because they were really cheap. Really, really cheap. And then I also got some Paige Evans ones because I've got some Paige Evans paper that these would go really well with, even though they're not the same collection, they're the same colours. So, I got the paper, oh, a couple of years ago. And then I got the Woodland Grove Project Pad. So it's not like your normal paper pad, it's a project pad, so it comes with, oh, let's open it up. Sorry, should have prepared this earlier. Hey, anyhow, comes with a sheet of stickers. Oh, blowing out! Sorry, really do need to get some lighting. And then a sheet of alphas, and there's gold ones in there, so that's cool. And then you've got your paper, and there's a couple of specialty, like goldy papers there. It's that one. It's, it's way prettier in person. And it's showing up on there. And then a pink one. That's a pink and gold foil. And coloured stripes with gold foil. Oops. And there's another gold foil one. That's the frames. That's really pretty. And then Nobody really does a floral like Maggie Holmes, do they? Cheetahs and butterflies. And just some cheeks. That's kind of cool. Good for doing backgrounds. Another floral. And another floral. Looks like old wallpaper. Black and white check. 
I like that. They, oh, they are hydrangeas, I think. I love hydrangeas. They are my favourite flower. Another florally piece. It's a mustardy colour with a pink overlay. Glass house and animals. It's like a very typical maybe Holmes pattern. I really like that for some reason. I don't know. And then you just get some straight colours like this. That's purple. It doesn't look pink like that at all. And then there's a blue and a lighter blue and a gr light green and a dark green. And that mustardy colour and an apricot and pink. So... I figure with this and the card kit, I should easily get some gorgeous cards. And then I might try and make an envelope album. I think. I'm not sure. But I am planning on working on those cards today before I go into work. I start later today. Although I have mucked around a lot already this morning, so it's quite possibly close to having to go to work time. And I am supposed to go to the next town over because I need to buy a heater for my son's caravan because it is freezing at the moment. Winter took a long time to come, but now it's really cold. And uh, we have nowhere in our local town to buy a heater. Go figure. So I have to go to a couple of towns over to the next big town and see if I can get one there before I go to work or after I haven't quite decided I don't know if I really will feel like going after anyhow I'm waffling on I'm very sorry about that so um take care have a lovely day and I'll see you next time